Virgos, March 2018. How are you guys? Morgan, in case you forgot, in case you're just joining me for the first time, welcome. You're not satisfied. And this is a repeating thing in, in the videos that I've been doing today. So you're not alone in this. There's a sense of what is supposed to make me happy is not making me happy. What I thought would work out is not working out. Be careful to not handle it in a sarcastic way. Do not go to the... Um, Instead of communicating openly, you're closing off and just being either spiteful or sarcastic or, you know, teasing or just... It's almost like, I can't handle this anymore. I don't have energy to either argue or talk. So I just, I let it out. I lash it out little by little with small things here and there. And it just, it causes bigger damage, not only, well, obviously for the person in front of you, but mostly to your energy and to the lovely, delicate beautiful creature that you are because that's what you are on the inside and this these parts only come out when you're truly frustrated or unhappy so you have the reason but there's always a reason for the things that we do is that an excuse i don't know and regardless of how it affects your environment think how it affects you so how can we fix this feeling i want to be happy why am i not happy Looks like it should be. Some of you are like, ugh. I have a checklist. V, 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 V. Perfect. What's wrong? There's a lot of sense of confusion, not just with you guys, but with other zodiacs, you know, within people sometimes, to what happiness is. To what joy joy is let me differentiate between the two there's happy um feeling happy feeling upbeat circumstantial a good event something good that happened today or this week now i'm happy I'm, it's a responsive emotion something exterior makes is making us happy now i'm happy okay then what happens when something is not making us happy, when it's not doing their job, when or the events that are, are occurring around us are annoying, an annoying day. So now, now we're not happy, now we're sad or upset or annoyed. Happiness is circumstantial. What is joy, inner joy, sustainable joy? It doesn't have anything to do with exterior events or people around us. Your joy is absolutely yours. It has to do with your perception, with your inner um, guidance, with how you view life, with how you view yourself, with trust in life, with trust in the divine, with trust in yourself that whatever is you know going on with you right now, it will be okay. You can fix it. You will get over it. It's temporary. It's it's just a point of view. It's a it's a positive point of view and that's inner joy you can be sad but joyous sad because something bad just happened it's making me sad or angry but i still have my inner joy that keeps me going and allows me to stay positive and not lose it and know that it will be okay and just if i'll do this and that you can be happy now for the moment but actually miserable and lacking joy because okay something just made me laugh or something small good happened great i'm happy about that but inside i still carry this burden this negativity this lack of faith this pessimism you understand the difference and people tend to chase the happiness the events the people that if i'll have this or if i'll do that or if this will happen or if only things were like this then i would be happy and now that this little thing has happened now i'm happy but it's not um, consistent when it's exterior to us when it's inner and doesn't depend on anything it's just the way we walk with joy then nothing can mess it up and you will also be automatically naturally drawn into things that can last that, that their happiness that they're bringing about to you can last it's not just sometimes like this sometimes like that 
Knight of Swords. Strong communication that isn't always positive. Who says the, the, the last word? Ego. The Knight of Swords is not always like that. But in this, you know, because this is what was brought up for in the conversation when I started the video. This is how I, this is what I was saying. So this is supporting this aspect of the night. Something other uh, strong, not so positive, always communication, very sharp communication, sharp, harsh words, sometimes um, snappy tongue, or and or someone someone coming in and out of your life. You're not sure are they in now or are, or are they out? When will they come back? When will they go? A lot of strong energy of movement, but not in a calm, joyous way. It's a very sharp, snappy one. Swords. Someone is either hurting you with their words or with their actions or lack of actions or sharp movement between that and that or you're doing that to someone or both of you are doing that to each other it relates to relationship yes but it can also relate to co-workers to friendships family members general readings match it to your narrative did i thank you for watching this thank you for being here been on my last videos thank you for returning if you're just joining i hope you it resonates if it doesn't watch not only your sun but also your moon and rising and venus i also recommend you know i almost was done for the day with readings i did three videos already and yesterday i did a couple i was like okay enough for today i have a few more days until march but i felt you guys i felt you guys like no we need guidance today. Okay. Okay. Second card, Four of Pentacles. Holding on to something from ego, from fear, not willing to let go. Jealousy, a lot of jealousy. If this has to do with a relationship, there is a lot of um, uncomfortable communication of insecurity and jealousy. Feeling threatened. And out of feeling threatened, you're basically creating what you fear and you're causing conflict and, again, harsh communication. And you're just holding on out of fear, basically. So what is it that you're holding on to? The fear or the connection? Maybe you have memories of the happy times that you had. Now joy is happy, circumstantial. There were times that it was happy, and now it's not so happy. Now you're discovering that when the outside, when the circumstances are not so easy or not so happy, then what are you, what what is there to rely on if if your relationship or connection was joyous, like a true connection of harmony? Then you would handle it. You would sail through it. It would be the both of you against the world. But it's not the both of you against the world. It's the both of you against each other. What does that mean? So we're holding on to connection based off of past happiness. But we're not feeling it now. And we're not looking at how things are. We're still holding to how things used to be. We don't want to lose what we think we have. The sadness and the anger, just like happiness, are also temporarily. What we aspire to is inner joy and inner fulfillment, knowing that no matter what, you'll be okay, and you can be renewed and, 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 love, and love again and be loved again and have a better job. Better communication, more loving relationship, a more truthful relationship. Even if things right now seem bad and miserable and sad, circumstantial. Don't hold down, hold on to the um, superficial emotion that is generated due to exterior events or exterior people. With what he told, what he said to me today, and what he will say to me tomorrow. What I will say 
uh, to her today or what I will say to her tomorrow, etc. This is an opportunity to work on your inner strength and inner positivity and inner joy. If you realize that you don't have that, that your happiness so so far was just because thing it was it was easy to be happy, it was comfortable to, to be happy, it was this and that, but then suddenly when it gets a little rocky, then I don't know, then what does it mean? You know, it's an opportunity to look in. Easy to be happy and joyous when circumstances allow. Can you be happy and joyous and positive when circumstances don't allow? That's the real question of this, sir and madame. You guys are Virgo. You like to look inside the details. You like to research and investigate. Investigate your psyche. Investigate your process. You have that ability. You're very good at it. Okay. Virgos, March 2018. I have the Knight of Swords. I have the Four of Pentacles. What else? What else do I have? Virgo, Earth, Quiet Earth. Your love is quiet. Your anger is quiet. And then it comes out either as small tokens of love, which is beautiful and poetic, or in small arrows of poison, which is... Don't go there, Virgo. I know you want to. Don't. That's the easy way, right? Oh. I was talking about inner strength, remember? Taming the inner beast, the inner lion with inside the cave and outside there's freedom and there's a heart but first finding your inner strength that you have with yourself it can either be a strength that comes from ego and then that's just force and trying to control something which is what exists right now in your life or it could be the next card that fell three of pentacles this is four of pentacles it fell before, and this three of pentacles, it fell after. And this is a much better situation of going back to the strong foundations of creation and cooperation after you tame that inner beast, after you tame your ego, after you find your self-control and strength from within, and then, and, you know, you don't depend on outside sources, then you can really build something good. Then you can return to your creativity to your fulfillment, to your stability, to your cooperations, to your harmony, to your leadership. Right now you're holding on to all the pentacles and you don't really want to teach the little kid here because is this is this student going to become better than I am? That's the ego and that's the fear, right? So you control, breathe. And you cooperate and you teach and you give and that's how you prosper and that's when you give you receive respect and admiration and love and appreciation so you are naturally on the pedestal here he's standing on the ground holding to his coins but when he's giving his coins he's being put up on a pedestal much better whether it's going to be in the same scenario that you are now and then you'll learn to control yourself or the person will learn to control themselves and or both of you usually it's a reflection right and then you will go back to this beautiful thing that you had, or it will be something else. You will learn the lesson, find your inner strength, and then find the cooperation of something else. Could be either or. Could be either or. Put it, put it, copy. I, I keep saying it, copy paste it to your narrative. Karma related connections, the, the fights, the, the fear, holding on, fear of losing, um, karma, karmic relationship, you have lessons to learn, this is why it's in, it's so you will become aware that you are lacking of the inner strength, so you will have um, the motivation to work on your inner strength, 
so you will tap into cooperation and uh, who is giving and receiving with trust will that karmic connection last in your life after you learn the lesson most of the times it doesn't if it does it's only if the other side also learns the lesson because if you step up and if you move forward with your lesson and if you grew if you grow if you evolve but then the person that is connected to the situation is still back there then they're holding you back and they still have something to learn but it's not yours anymore to learn so you need to move forward but if they also evolve simultaneously then you can choose to move forward together again whether it be a relationship job a job connection friendship so on but i i, I have a feeling that it's going to go go from two to one because two Two. One with his inners, and is also turning his back on that. It's like, I can't do this anymore. I can't play this game. I can't do this too much. It's negative. I'm going in and finding back my sense of control and sense of self and sense of inner strength and inner faith and guidance. I want to find my way. Back to myself. It seems lost here. And that's where you find it. Now, yes, there's other characters here, but here it's more like a group. I see like as you kind of stepping into your power mode and then people around you can see it and they respond to you differently. But you... Look at this. Even though this all came like this, this came together and then this came together. This is from the same suit of elements, four of pentacles, three of pentacles, and it's going back to balance cooperations. And this guy right in the middle, he looks exactly like Daedalus in the suit of pentacles. But this here, this immature, harsh thing that has been causing all of this, Suit of Swords, a different element. Maybe something is left behind, maybe not. Not sure yet. Let's clarify. Clarify the story and what is to follow for March 2018 for Virgos. Virgos. Don't worry, guys. Fix it so it will look nice. Something new. This Knight of Swords and this Knight of Pentacles are not the same, and this Knight of Pentacles belongs to this family that is finding itself, finding yourself, tapping back into your element. The devil that you're walking away from, you're no longer willing to be a part of this type of negative communication, of uh, shackles, of repetitive fears, repetitive negative reactions. It's the sense of something that brings you down instead of up. Four of Pentacles, he wants this guy to not succeed because he's because he's threatened. Here he wants them to succeed because he knows their success shows on him. Here is taking all that knowledge and moving on. It's all the knowledge and the strength that I acquired and I'm moving on. Slowly but surely. The Knight of Pentacles is slow. It's safe, but it's still in movement. It's looking out of the reading. It's all going like this. And the devil is behind us. He's always behind us. There's always one devil on one shoulder and one angel on the other shoulder. And there's always that, but we're walking away from it. Devil is also very earth sign, but it's the negative aspect of the earth. Here there's 
this is a negative aspect of the earth, a negative aspect of the earth. There is work on the strength and the inner line, controlling the inner beast, controlling the inner devil, and tapping into the positive uh, expression of the earth element. There's moving forward. The devil um, can be Capricorn, can be Taurus, can be Virgo, but it's officially the card of Capricorn. Cappies, I'm not saying that you guys are devils. It's just this, the zodiac that appears here within the reading, and the devil can be positive, just not in this, not in this reading. Also, all this scenario could mean like, yeah, you know you need to move, you know you need to move forward, but you're still holding on, it's still slow, you're still scared a little bit, you're still holding on to your past, or to your fears, to your habits how you wanted things to be to your control and you don't want to lose that sense of control so you're still something is drawing you forward but something is still drawing you back you know you need to move forward but something is still holding you back from moving forward will virgos manage no too many cards too many cards <laughs> Will my Virgos manage to move forward or will the person in their life manage to move forward? I don't know which one is you. I love all of my seekers and everyone watches my videos, but you're not always the good guy. Not that there's a good guy and a bad guy. It's always complex. But within the reading, I don't know which one is you. You know. Let's see if there is a moving on. Moving forward. And where to? Where is the Knight of Pentacles taking us in March? There it goes. <laughs> this is the card of Capricorn. As I said, King of Pentacles. January is the card of Capricorn. From the negative aspect of the Capricorn to the positive aspect of the Capricorn from the weaker aspect and expression of the earth and of the Capricorn to the strong positive expression of the Capricorn, the stable. It's also the knight that becomes a king. Look at this from, from the negative aspect of the coins to the positive one. Even though it's from four to three, this is the, the expression of the three. It's, it goes one, two, three with threes, right? One, two, three, and then four, five, six, and then seven, eight, nine. There's three cycles until we get to 10, and then it's like it's back to the ace, right? It's the completion of the cycle. So the third card of the first three is much more positive than the first card of the second three. The four is the first card of the second three, four, five, six. So after this process, a lot of earth, a lot of Figuring out your stability and your place in the world right now. This is figuring out your place in the world right now. I don't see flow. I don't see water. It's almost like you don't even think about how it is you're feeling. It's like you can't, you don't even have room to know what it is that you're feeling because everything, you just want things to be stable and organized and safe and know where you stand. So you're so focused on that. But see, that's also a part of the devil point of view because life is a combination of the elements. That's balance, water, earth, fire, air. What I have here is only earth and and a very problematic uh, expression of the swords, which is air. And air and earth seemingly touch each other, but they never actually touch each other, right? They're always parallel. It's like your reflection in the mirror. There's always that glass wall. Touching and not touching. It's not like water and earth. They sink within each other. It's not like fire that feeds the air. Oh, I'm sorry, air that feeds the fire. The air and the L and the and the earth are like they don't they 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 they're close but they don't really unite. The unity between them is merely an illusion of of of, of the eye. And here I have a little bit of sword, a little bit of air, a lot of breath. Where am I in this world? We need to throw in some water here, guys. Go to the beach. Sail on a boat. Seriously, take really long showers. I know you're really scared to tap into your emotion because your emotion is so fearful right now. Look at how he's holding 
all his coins to his chest, like covering his heart with the thing that he thinks he has. No, no, I have this and this and this and that. So I'm not supposed to feel elsewhere. So he's covering his feelings with the things that he allegedly has. But here's the heart being like, nope, sir. You're going to have to dive in and you have to handle it. There's also a lot of focus on work, more escapism. And it's almost like your focus in work helps you kind of digest and think and analyze. You're getting a lot of understandings and realizations. There is a person in your the connection between of you between the two of you it doesn't mean that the two that any of you is bad it's just the connection between you is bad once that con that connection is moved away from then there's the positive expression of the both of you just separately if this is um, if you're thinking about love there's you need to find your positive expression and it's not happening within this connection Let's sum it up. Let's sum it up for my lovely Virgos. For March. Also for the end of February. We have another week. The card fell. What is? Let's see what it is. Sorry. My dog is like, what are you doing? Okay. Five of Pentacles in reverse. Feeling like you're losing it all, but you won't lose it all the opposite this will be the end of the karma of situations where you feel like you're losing it all and you're lost in the cold homeless and poor this is just a mechanism the karma the thing that you fear the thing that you're accustomed to and you're like i can't let it happen to me again if i leave this i'll be left with nothing no you won't this will be the last time this will be the last test this karma will fall on its head. It's another coin. It's a lot of earth, guys. Ooh. Bottom of the deck. Okay. <laughs> Amazing. The sun. When all this is gone, when the karma of, of this is resolved and finished, you're going to have the sun. Complete awareness. Complete blessing. The sun will shine on you. You just need to go through that Final step, final lesson, final, 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 final. This is it. Just gonna do this, and then the karma is resolved, and then you're free for this, and free for this. Real control, real self control that comes from a truthful place, not from a place of ego. Yeah, there's still be ego here because you're a very strong personality, or maybe the person that you're dealing with is a very strong personality, but once the poison is done, once the, um, Negative communication, negative negative connection. It's no longer positive. Whatever was positive, it's no longer doesn't feel positive anymore. But you need to step out of the shadow, out of the cave, to let the sun shine on you, and it will. It will. Okay. And this is also Cupid, by the way. Even though I still don't have any cards of cups and of emotion, that's where you're guided to. It's a major arcana. It's the potential. It's the spirituality. It's the high advisors. They're guiding you. In the 5D, there's already a better union. You are already in unity with your soul mate, twin flame. Not right now in the 3D. In the 3D, you're in a very negative poisonous kind of thing that you would need to step out of to, to own up to your sense of back to your sense of self but then once that is done and you are your true self tap into your true self then universe will, and spirit will be able to put you on your path because you will finally resonate with the path that you're supposed to be walking on in frequency finally because so far you you haven't been in your frequency now that you've been brave and you've allowed yourself to free yourself from the poison from the negativity 
Now the sun will shine on you. It's going to be a whole new world, a whole brighter world, true happiness, true joy. I'm really glad I did this reading for you guys because I feel like it was needed and I hope it was helpful. And I hope to see you again in April. Watch your sun, moon, and rising. I love you. Bye.